Now, Mohammed Faraj Hamer is a prominent businessman who began a food empire in the early 1980s. He was the largest beef importer in the Middle East in the 80s and 90s, but later went into production. Well, he founded Egyptian food company, the Faragala Group, which has about 28 factories in various sectors. Hamer is also a member of parliament and an owner of Premier League club Semua, which of course is a top four team in Egypt. Let's hear what he has to say about doing business in Egypt. Having been in business in Egypt for decades, Mohammed Faraj Amer has seen both the good and the bad. The last five years, and especially after the revolution, it was very hard time, and we had a lot of uh, a lot of challenges, mainly the security and the instability. And then after that, uh, and we are very happy that we have now security and stability. But now we have, of course, we have uh, challenges, but what can I say, positive challenges. Uh, because, uh, first of all, we have the free uh, market for the currency, which is a good, but everything now is getting more and more expensive. And this is bringing the, dem the local demand down. Egypt is targeting over 10 billion U.S. dollar foreign direct investments per year, currently at $6 billion. Farad says a change of the system is needed. I would advise the government to have big uh, headline Egypt industrial ex exporter industrial country and we should select three or four industries and concentrate on them and make things easy. There was a cabinet change last week. And the mayor believes the old government had failed investors. There is no transparency regarding the, the industry, all the industrial laws. There are many, many things should be taken. You cannot find easily land for new investment. Yani they talk, but on the ground or in the foundation, they are not active as they talk. In his third year as president, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has impressed the mayor as an investor. I see the willing of the president and what is he doing and what is he trying to do. And he's, uh, he believes in the country and he's doing a lot of positive things. But he cannot do everything alone. The society must help him. You know, and uh, all the society must work hard. I am working very hard. But it's not enough. This is, must be the culture of everyone. Egypt's decision to devalue the pound has been a boost to the economy. Many, however, say it will be a while before these benefits can trickle down to every sector. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.